Hi Gemini, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading from the 25th to the 30th of September 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. So Gemini, you have the Three of Cups as your energy. So you could expect a coming together or things to for you to catch up with your friends. Or if this is a romantic situation, then, you know, there is just um, abundant times, good food, good times. And there could be just, you know, a party or a reunion, something like that. Um, the energy you're dealing with is showing up as the hermit so there's something that this person is looking into uh, could be looking into their own past or looking into something in relation to you i'm not sure and the mutual energy is the five of swords so since some kind of disagreement or falling out that's happening let's this is very different from this you know it's like it seems like you're coming forward with an energy of like let's make peace and let's share good times together but the mutual energy is turning into something quite the opposite so let's look at the, the three of cups and why you're showing up as the three of cups last week gemini you had shown up as as um, death so you were going through some kind of you know ending so let's see what this Three of Cups is about. Okay. So this is to do with your home situation or, you know, um, essentially I see the four of wands as a home situation, but it could mean something to do with stability. It could be at work, but I feel like with the three of cups and the eight of cups, this is more on the emotional side. So this is to do with a home. Now there is a, you're showing up as uh, the empress. So, you know, you're really, um, what shall I say, Gemini? You're, you're in a setup and you're bringing in a lot of loving and nurturing energy into this setup you know as the empress um the empress is abundant is abundant and the three of cups is also an energy of abundance but this eight of cups confuses me it's very contradict it's just contradictory to the three of cups because this is people coming together and this is someone walking away so maybe, uh, maybe Gemini, you're oscillating between, you're oscillating between coming together and disconnecting, uh, you know, from the situation. Well, there's something about this. You want to bring things together, but I feel like your heart is not in it. So the Three of Cups is, let's look at the energy you're dealing with. Last week, I have, I have my notes written. You have the Death, the King of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles. What I saw was like a kind of separation, uh, not the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So... I had guessed that maybe this was a separation between uh, two people or Gemini, you finding out that you're more invested in a situation than you thought you were. And this you were re realizing through a tower. And, you know, this week, it seems like
there's something that is you're coming in with a lot of positive energies but your heart is is like you're you've disconnected from the situation from your heart space it feels like that or th this could be someone else actually because you're showing up as the three of cups this could be someone else that's walking away from you yeah maybe the person you're dealing with is disconnecting from their heart because this eight of cups is walking away from the empress let's look at the hermit Why is this energy showing up as the hermit? We have the three of pentacles, the sun, and the ace of pentacles. So the energy you're dealing with, Gemini, is considering and looking at teamwork. And they are feeling positive about working things out with you. With the ace of pentacles, it's like there is a new opportunity to stabilize things. And to manifest a stable connection or, you know, financial stability with this person. If not financial stability, it's like the pentacles is essentially, you know, a life that you, the material life that you kind of establish. And this person feels positive about this. The Hermit is an isolated energy and the Three of Pentacles is an energy of collaboration, collaborating with others. So, I don't know if this person is looking at... I feel like there was something about a teamwork or some collaboration that happened between you and this person. And with the Hermit, you know, this person is not really with you. You know, I feel like this person is the Eight of Cups. They could be physically with you, but their energy is withdrawn. And what they're looking at is, you know, past teamwork that happened between the two of you and how things worked out. And they see that there is a new opportunity to start a new cycle. But I'm not sure if this is being taken because we do have the Five of Swords over here. So let's see what this is about. Why is the mutual energy coming up as the Five of Swords? Yeah, we have the death, queen of cups, and the nine of swords. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini. You could be, if not a water sign, with the queen of cups. But it seems like in the mutual energy, you know, somebody, now you had death last week week now the death is showing up in the mutual energy so both you and this person are both you and this person are going through something difficult the death is not an easy energy and i feel like somebody's worried about offering the their cup of love There's somebody who is, you know, offering the other person their cup of love, but there is stress about, around this. Like the mutual energy is the queen of cups. So there is love in the situation between the two of you. But somebody is worrying and, you know, with the death, somebody is worrying about this coming to an end. And, you know, it could be self-sabotage because you you know the energies are positive we have the four of wands the empress the three of cups the ace of pentacles the sun you know but because somebody is 
walking away, you know. Somebody is choosing to walk away. It's sabotaging this connection. And somebody, either you or your person or the both of you are stressed about this connection coming to an end. Well, you know, the, what I'd like to tell you, Gemini, is death is not the ending. If death was an end, then it would be the last card in the Major Arcana, but it is the world. So there's still stuff to happen after the death energy comes. So uh, Gemini, this is what I have for you. If you're still watching, thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. And I will catch you again soon later. Bye.